Hello everyone. So before I decided to start uh, recording myself building plastic models, I had built plenty of them beforehand. And so I decided I'd go ahead and provide some reviews for ones that are still on the market in case anybody's considering purchasing them. So here is the fruit of that exercise. So I'm going to start with one of my absolute favorite models of all time, and that is Airfix A6M2B in 172 scale. This one here is actually from a Pearl Harbor gift set that I purchased with some friends uh, maybe five years ago, um, and it's very beautifully detailed in all of this. The other kind I have is the more updated version, which you're probably more likely to find. It's the uh, IGN gray all over with the red and beige of Summer Ball Air Station. On this one, I decided to have the pilot on the wing just for interest. You can also find an older kit sometimes on eBay or at your local hobby store that's gray and green and has the number 34 under the wing. That's the old style. The newest version is available in a dogfight doubles kit with an F4F Wildcat, which I think I need to get because why the heck not? They're all the exact same model. Airfix just updated the paint schemes and decals. So far, I've built four of these kits, which should tell you something. And I've used it for a beginning model class I taught at the college. It has the perfect mix of value, quality, and detail. The sprues on all of the kits I've done were very clean. There was minimal flash, and the pieces fit together beautifully. There was very little sanding or puttying required. The detail is about as good as you can get without adding photo etch parts, though the panel lines and other recessed details are a little on the thick side. Personally, I don't mind it, but I've heard others complain that it's unrealistic. One neat thing about the kits is the variety of options. The kit provides parts for landing gear either up or down, wing tips extended or folded, etc. However, there's only one option for decals per kit. Unfortunately, the canopy doesn't open, but if you're super duper careful, you can cut it open with a hobby knife. This is a great kit for beginners or experts, given its forgiving nature and loads of detail and potential. I even had an eight-year-old build one in my class. As a point of interest, I keep one of these hanging in my office above the guest's chair. That way, when a student comes in to talk to me about their grade, I get to look at them very seriously and say, before we begin, I should let you know that you have a zero hovering over you right now. So overall, I would say I recommend this sort of a kit very much. If you can get one in the dogfight doubles, right now you should. If you find one in the standalone, grab it and put it together. Not only is the Zero a very beautiful plane and a very important one historically, but this is a very fun, easy kit to put together and you'll have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed this review. I wish you joy in your lives and I will see you next time.